market rallied here. This candle went above the order block. That's that opening price on the daily chart, that big blue line there. Okay. When we went above it, the next candle, we traded right back down. And what did it do? It went right back to the body or high of the previous candle right before that big candle. In my mind, if I'm bullish, that's exactly what I want to see happen. Why? Where is it forming? What's this blue level? That's that daily order block. It's opening price. It's a very specific price level. It's not ambiguous. So you need to be looking at that level in a lower time frame. You want to capture nice day trades. You're going to be using the 15 minute and the hourly chart. You want to trade swing trades. You're going to be trading the four hour and the one hour chart. You want to trade position trades. You're going to be trading daily and the weekly charts. And the same stuff occurs there. But the magic happens when you start applying all these things together. What is it coupled with? An immediate rebalance. It's a bullish breaker with this candle here. As soon as we come back down to that highest up close candle, that body extended over, that right there is your bullish breaker. That is your order block. That is your immediate rebalance. That is all occurring at your daily opening price, which is this change in the state of delivery. It's going to seek the opposing side of liquidity or inefficiency. Friends and neighbors, that is short, sweet, to the point. You can't reduce it to anything less than that. What else is occurring right here when it drops down and hits that order block's opening price? What's it reacting off of? What is this? Buy side and balance, sell side and efficiency. Well, if we measure that from here to here, what are we looking for? The best buys are going to be at what? Midpoint or consequent encroachment in the upper quadrant. We don't want that lower portion to be closed in or overlapped on. We don't want that because what that indicates is it's exceedingly bullish. This will act as a breakaway gap. That's exactly what we want. We want to see that. If we get to a consolidation place in the price run and it creates a gap like this, where we want to leave a small portion open, that is a measuring gap. One leg of the price runs already occurred and then we're consolidating. And then we get another gap where it creates an environment like I'm explaining here. If it stays open, that means it qualifies that we have another price leg that's gonna be equal to the initial move or maybe even more, but it's gonna do it in three quarters of the time that it took to make the first leg or less. So what does that mean? Many times that's your second stage reaccumulation in a market maker buy or a second stage redistribution in a market maker sell model. Hot damn! Did he just give some gold? Yes, I did. And for free, you're welcome. If it's always able to come back down and fill in every single buy side and balance, sell side and efficiency, we're probably near the end of the price run. That is the signature that I'm looking for. If I'm trading a bullish order block, I want the lower portion of that candlestick not to even be traded to. It can touch the mean threshold halfway point, but if it does that, it needs to immediately kick off and start running. If I'm trading a fair value gap I, and I'm bullish, I want the upper portion to be responsive. I don't want to see it dilly-dallying around at all in that lower half. So we're going to drop down to 15-minute time frame. Again, we're looking right at this price level right there. i got to climb off my soapbox. Same thing in here. Look what they do. They run first, higher. So what does that do? It triggers longs. Why would they want that? Because if they're going to go long, they're going to put what? Sell stops. Where are they going to put them at? Below the relative equal lows. Well, then that convenient because right down here is that order block. And right down in here is that consequent encroachment of the one hour buy side and balance sell side and efficiency. So now we have liquidity engineered right at a buy side and balance sell side and efficiencies consequent encroachment. That's three things. The level of, of a order block's opening price or mean threshold is in and of itself, by itself, useless. They are the markers in which you go into price and you study around that. And if you have three PD arrays, liquidity is always a PD array, and it's dynamic. It can be in any time frame, any level of premium or discount. It's a slam dunk. Every week, every day, and it won't stop. It never changes. It just gets more precise.
We'll just drop down for shits and giggles on the five minute chart. Last down closed candle, displacement to the upside. Did we trade to consequent encouragement of that buy side balance, sell side efficiency, and the upper opening price on the daily bullish order block, that level here? Yes. Did we see displacement? This candle? Yes. Last down closed candle. What is the change in the state of delivery? What price is it? It's the opening price. Price comes down, trades. Did it respond? <laughs> Did it respond? Did it prove there's a change in the state of delivery and algorithmically repriced higher? You're going to tell me that's buying and selling pressure? That's buyers came in there, right? <laughs> buyers did that, right? <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. I love reading people talk that bullshit because that didn't happen. Okay, <laughs> that, did not, that did not happen. Price expanded higher. And then what do we have here? You missed this down here. You weren't able to dial in. No problem. We're in a five minute chart. We're still, we're still below equilibrium. So we're in what? We're in a discount. So can we take a fair value gap entry? Yes, we can, Virginia. Watch. Here is your fair value gap right there. Okay. You want your entry to be in the upper portion, that price level or higher. Listen to me, folks. The upper portion of an order block from its midpoint to its high, every fair value gap from its midpoint to its high, if you're buying, that's your ideal entry. When these confluence of events occur at this time, what time is it happening? What candle time is it on right now? <laughs> Hard not to grin, isn't it? <laughs> they cannot hide this from you. It's a big casino and all you have to do is walk the aisles. Walk the aisles and wait for street money to get off those you know, slot machines that ain't paid out to them. They can't see the opportunity that they've created. And right when they are diametrically opposed, you sit down, you put your money in the trade, you pull the arm down and you wait for it to deliver the seven, seven, seven jackpot. <laughs> 